Welcome to Open for Business, the Gallatin Valley's only local business and consumer talk show featuring Tom Eaglehoff, the Man Entrepreneur Magazine radio called the leading authority in the United States for doing business in small town. Here he is, speaker, author, small business consultant, and Mrs. Eaglehoff's favorite son, Tom Eaglehoff. All right, welcome everyone. Open for business. We air every uh, Saturday live from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Mountain Time on AM 1450 KMMS in Bozeman, 1340 KPRK in Livingston, Montana. If you'd like to be a part of the big broadcast, go to KMMSAM.com and click Listen Live. The call in number during the show, 406 522 Talk, 406 522 8255. I'm here, you're here. Let's get the show on the road. Let's get back to Open for Business on News Radio AM 1450 KMMS Bozeman. Lines are open at 522 Talk. That's 522 8255. Here he is. He's big, he's bad, and he's open for business. Tom Eaglehoff. Right, thank you, Dan. 25 minutes before the top of the hour. It's Saturday, September 23rd, 2017. 42 degrees outside in beautiful downtown Bozeman. And I want to welcome you to the podcast portion of Open for Business. Each week, I share some tips and tricks I've learned over the years about advertising, marketing, promotion, and building strong, successful businesses. And if you missed any of my previous podcasts, you'll find them all on my YouTube channel. And while you're there, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll never miss another weekly podcast. You'll also find a link to my podcast on my website that 3,000 people visit each and every day at smalltownmarketing.com. That's smalltownmarketing.com. And today's topic, I want to talk about the top 10 common advertising uh, mistakes small town business owners make. So as I travel the country talking to small business owners, the most common question I get is how to advertise effectively and inexpensively. Well, sometimes you can combine the two, but in most cases, advertising is either effective or inexpensive but rarely both. So as I repeat often in these podcasts, your advertising must be an investment. It can never be an expense. It must generate more in business profit than it costs. Now, most business owners are experts at their industry or service, but novices when it comes to putting their message out to customers. And there's certainly nothing wrong with that. Most uh, people couldn't walk off the street and run your business. So why should anyone expect you to somehow be an expert in advertising and marketing? Well, advertising and marketing takes study and input from people who know that industry. So if you're going to do your own advertising, and most small business owners do, then you need to know what to do and what not to do. So here are the top 10 mistakes I see most often. Mistake number one, not knowing if your advertising is working. This by far is the biggest error most small business owners make. They just throw some advertising in the local paper or on the radio and hope and pray that it works. In many cases, they have no idea how to track results or how to adjust their advertising efforts to be more productive. So here's the solution to that problem. Key your ads. Put something in each ad that will alert you to the fact that the customer is doing business with you because of your ad. The most common key might be a coupon. If the customer returns the coupon, that's the key the ad is working. No coupons redeemed means the ad is in the wrong place or the coupon offer is not what the customers are looking for. Another way is to educate the customer and make yourself an expert at the same time. Ask customers to call, write, or stop in for a free brochure of the 13 things you should know before you buy tires. Uh, the response to the brochure will give you an idea of how many people ask for the brochure and how many are transformed into customers. Mistake number two, testing, testing, and more testing. I'm a firm believer that if something is working, leave it alone. Advertising in small towns is not seen by everyone every day. The fact that the ad may be old to you may not mean it's old to others. Many people are seeing it for the first time. Did you look for tire ads in the paper today? Chances are you didn't unless you needed tires. So if you didn't look, are the ads old to you? Probably not. So the solution to this problem, because of competition and the general economy, times and attitudes of customers change. It's important to test new products and services from time to time. 
Just remember, you can't be all things to all people. Your advertising should project a family theme, which I'll cover in a moment. Now make sure that you keep a consistent look with your business ads when you're testing. Mistake number three is when to advertise. On your first day of business, did you advertise? Chances are you had a grand opening with balloons and radio and TV and newspapers and contests and anything else to attract customers to your business. I'm a firm believer that every business in every community across this country should have an annual grand opening. New people move to town every year. They need a barber, they need a food store, they need a dentist, they need a doctor, they need a shoe store, they need clothing store, uh, they need a hardware store. You need to reach those new people. But can you keep that kind of advertising up all year long? Chances are you can't. So when should you advertise? Well, here in my opinion, the big mistake is spreading advertising out equally over the entire year. A consistent amount spent each month in the same place. I know that's the easy way to budget your advertising expense, but remember, we don't want advertising to be an expense, we want it to be an investment. In the stock market, we want to sell high and buy low. So you do the same with advertising. The solution, if you budget consistently, what are you going to do in case of an emergency? Your competitor runs a big promotion, will you have the funds to combat that? Your industry gets some bad publicity, will you have the funds to defend your company? As you can see, there are times and events that may affect how and where you advertise during the year. Make sure you keep a little in reserve to combat any adverse condition that might occur. Mistake four is advertising in the wrong place. I love KMMS AM 1450 here in Bozeman, talk radio. So if you love it, I'm sure my customers love it too. So that's where I'll advertise. Sound familiar? That logic might be right, but generally it isn't. If you're spending your advertising dollars in the wrong place, suddenly your advertising is an expense. It's not an investment. The solution, get to know your customers as much as possible. Create a survey for them to fill out. Ask what radio stations they like. Ask what newspapers or magazines they like. You need to construct a profile of your ideal customer, i.e. your target market. Then the advertising media can match you up with the right stations or the right sections in the newspaper. Mistake number five, not staying unique. One of the most crucial mistakes small business makes is not sticking with what made them successful in the first place. Does the McDonald Arch Deluxe ring a bell? Can you still buy one? It's gone from their menu. Why? Because it was McDonald's pathetic attempt to gain the adult market. It's not their market. You don't put a playground in front of an adult restaurant. McDonald's has always been a family restaurant. Trying to change was a major mistake. The solution, instead of changing, strengthen the niche that has gotten you where you are. My books are on small town marketing. Should I suddenly start writing books for Microsoft and IBM? No, that's not my strong area of expertise. So the solution is positioning your business away from your competition and making it unique in some way that keeps your business strong. Mistake number six, how you look at your customer. Small town businesses seem to throw any kind of advertising out there for customers to find. I'm sure there are several major companies I could show you that you could recognize just with the company colors. Could you recognize this Campbell soup can without the company name? Probably could. Well, customers over time begin to feel comfortable with the look and feel of your advertising. So create a visual image for your company and stick to it. The logo, the colors, and even the language of the, of the messages should have the same look and feel uh, across all advertising media. Mistake number seven, poorly planned promotions and events. Several years ago, when George Bush was running for president, he planned a campaign stop here in Montana. Unfortunately for George, his aides picked the opening day of hunting season to stop by. Needless to say, George spoke to very small crowds during those stops. The solution, plan ahead. Find out what's happening in your neck of the woods before investing in a promotion that may bomb. Mistake number eight, forgetting the folks who got you there. Many businesses spend so much time trying to attack new customers that they forget the loyal customers who made them successful. I'm sure you've all heard that it takes six times as much effort and expense to attract a new customer than it does to keep an existing one. The solution, if you keep customer lists, 
or customer accounts and haven't heard from some of them in a while, make some calls and find out what they're up to. Are they unhappy for some reason? Is your competitor giving them better service or a better product? Maintaining contact shows these customers that you're still still very much interested in their business. Mistake number nine, listening to the wrong people. When it comes to advertising, everybody's more than willing to give you advice. And because you feel that you know so little, you're willing to take everything at face value. Most media salesperson are honest and hardworking people. However, some are just out to sell you ads. If you think you want to be somewhere, they're more than happy to sell you the time or the space. The solution, best advice I can give you, is to ask what other businesses similar to yours have purchased advertising. You can't call direct competitors, maybe, but sometimes businesses that are in the same industry will be willing to share if their advertising is working. For example, a wedding photographer might check with a wedding planner or a florist, pay a visit to the library, or look online for businesses like yours in other cities comparable to yours. Call people there who are in your industry and pick their brains for good ideas. And mistake number 10, concentration on product features instead of benefit. So many ads I see just talk about what the product has, not what it does. No one ever buys a product for the features it has. Do people buy a one inch drill bit because they want the bit? No, they buy it for the one inch hole it'll give them. That's the benefit. The solution, evaluate every product and service you offer. What's the real benefit of each to the customer? Are you showing these benefits in your ads? The advice I usually give to new businesses or those who are having problems with advertising is this. Think before you act. Make sure you've correctly identified your target market. Make sure the media you've selected will reach that market. Take one last look at your advertising message or offer. Does it really say what you mean? Are the benefits there? And last but not least, learn from the mistakes of others. Watch what advertising works and what doesn't work in your town. What are other businesses that you can adapt to or change to fit your business? Remember, advertising almost always works when it's done right and almost always fails when it's done wrong. Do it right and watch your bottom line blacken. And that's the podcast. If you missed any of my previous podcasts, you'll find them all on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you'll always find a link to my podcast on my website that 3,000 people visit each and every day at smalltownmarketing.com. That's smalltownmarketing.com. So tune in each Saturday and let's build successful businesses together.